Hello, hello. It is Wednesday, April 21st, and we're doing our regular update here for the field protocol. Thank you so much for joining us. Katie, how you doing? Hey, Luke, doing great. Doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, it's actually my I got a little, little back issues, but I'm working it out. And it's my daughter's uh, birthday today. So we just did uh, donuts for uh, for a birthday, which was super fun. Uh, but excited to talk about stuff we got going on this week. What, what do we got going on? Look, there's quite a bit going on. So my background's changed. I'm in a hotel. I'm down here in Miami for the Miami Crypto Experience Conference, one of the first uh, conferences that is in real life again. Um, we got Theo involved a little bit here last minute on that. So I'm gonna head down to the conference in just a bit and uh, say hello to a lot of old and familiar faces. Um, what else we've got coin market cap a lot going on there we've got our video contest we'll touch on that that's wrapping up soon sort of um we've got some articles that have come out um let's uh let's dive in i want to give a shout out i can uh, i want to share my screen so just a couple of days ago on business insider we saw an article appear um the best bitcoin wallets for storing and um, storing and securing your cryptocurrency and down here, we've got one of our integration partners, Mycelium, shout out to them. Uh, they are free to download, um, best for mobile users. And what was really cool is that they were being highlighted and recognized for, um, for the FIO integration, making things a lot easier to send uh, and receive and request cryptocurrency across different wallets, across different chains, um, and very friendly to use for that. So shout out to Mycelium for that. Yeah, and we were then, super excited to see that. And it's actually kind of goes along the lines of what we've been thinking about for why FIO matters. And, and what we want to do with these video calls is actually bring on in the future, bring on more partners to talk about their FIO integration, talk about their products and services, what they've got going on. And if you've seen, um, as you were just gonna, just about to show, the announcement this week from PayPal and Venmo, where now both, not just PayPal, but now as of this week, Venmo as well, allows you to pay for things with cryptocurrency. And so this is just, a, I shared this this week, and I was wanted to highlight just the concept of how important it is for our ecosystem. And, and again, shout out to Mycelium and all the FIO integrated partners that have the vision for this to make cryptocurrency easier to use. If we don't take on this responsibility and really make this important in a decentralized usability layer like we have with FIO, just like they're saying, you know, this is why PayPal and Venmo are doing this. They want to make it super easy. They understand this. And I hope our own industry understands it. Because if we don't, I, I'm concerned that if we don't, there's a risk that the masses of people, the hundreds of millions of people that are coming to cryptocurrency are going to just turn to whatever the easiest process is. And those will essentially be centralized solutions like PayPal and Venmo. And to me, as somebody who's been in the space for more than eight years, I get a little discouraged by that. I'm like, wait, this is kind of defeats the whole purpose of why cryptocurrency matters. Not your keys, not your coins, decentralized currency that you self-sovereign control. So I really wanted to highlight this as moving very, very quickly. And again, if you are a user of a product or service that doesn't yet have the FIO protocol integrated with it, or you are yourself involved in a project that is just being developed or is in the process of being worked on, or you're a CEO or a C-level at a major project, uh, any product or service that's crypto enabled, please have them check out FIO protocol. I think it's really important for our industry because these other centralized organizations are moving very quickly and they have a lot of money and a lot of customers. And so I want to make sure that we as an industry are ready for decentralized usability, because again, that focus is making it easy for the user. They get that. And so far, cryptocurrency companies haven't prioritized usability as much. And so we're hoping to change that. Yeah, I, I don't I want to just underscore what you'd said, but because I don't think it can be stressed enough in this industry, because I'm just as passionate as you. Um, I, I'm definitely a decentralist, but I'm also, you know, pragmatic and understanding that centralized solutions have their place too. Um, so I don't have this, I have a utopia dream, of course, but do I foresee that being reality in the next 10 years? No. But what I do see is that I would love to see, and Theo's role is providing an alternative, right? So where us as users, cryptocurrency users, at least have that option. So for all of the decentralized products, or those that are building in the cryptocurrency space that are building these decentralized products and they want to maintain that integrity, FIO is a fantastic solution for that. And what you said was, and what I wanted to stress, they have a lot of money 
and a lot of users and they've done it before and they understand this. So you can't understate how fast this is really going to happen. And it's going to, um, I think it's going to be a big wake up call for a lot of these um, cryptocurrency products that are really passionate about building decentralized products. And, and I, I want to see that. And I hope that the industry itself, even when it comes to like gas fees and certain just, you know, usability challenges, I hope we're going to take those very seriously. I know there's a lot of cool stuff going on with second layer solutions, lightning network, you know, and, and these other things on Ethereum as well. And, and I hope it gets there because my concern also is that people are going to move to basically central bank digital currencies. If you ever heard of CBDCs, that's what that's all about because it might be faster with fewer fees and people just won't really think about whether it's centralized or decentralized. And you can get to a point where it's like, well, again, that kind of defeats the purpose of cryptocurrency itself. So we've, we've made our, we've made our bid and it's kind of our theme of these videos. I noticed we're just going to keep saying, Hey, this is why we think video protocol is important. And we, uh, we, we super appreciate you all listening in because you, you agree with us from that perspective as well. If you're watching this video and, and, and you feel like you're just, you know, a cryptocurrency participant and you're excited and, and perhaps you have relationships or perhaps you don't. Everybody has a voice. And I want people to really understand, because um, I know from the B2B side, how the magnitude of this, when, when finance or just for, you know, placeholder sake, um, gets a lot of community certain product, they pay attention to that, right? And that's, and in fact, we can share that too. I mean, how many conversations are you involved in, Luke, with these different wallets, exchanges, and service providers that are like, you know, our users, some of them are asking for it, but not enough, right? And so um, the more that people are saying and calling attention to, I would like to use this in your product that I'm a customer of, and I'm a fan of, they, they really do listen. So um, I encourage everyone to, to, you know, flex your voice out on crypto Twitter or wherever. <laughs> so a couple other things that we've got going on. I just want to keep these um, top of mind for everybody. Um, we've had, just moving my screens around here. So we've got going on still live. We just launched it um, eight days ago. Coin Market Cap, Learn and Earn, um, partnership with them. Uh, Fio has four short explainer videos. They're about a minute long. Um, as long as you have a Binance uh, user ID, uh, of course, Binance owns Coin Market Cap, so they want to make sure that you guys are uh, patched in there. You can participate in this and get it's roughly I think around eight dollars of um, you know Fio tokens, 20 FIO tokens, whatever that is right now. And you'll take a little quiz at the end of that. And uh, I think what the word that we have, if you're, if you've already taken this, um, the first batch of distribution um, for the FIO tokens, for those that have successfully completed their learn and earn on the FIO protocol is going to be on May 1st. We will continue to keep you updated as we get more information about that. Um, and then also, this just came out yesterday, which is really cool. So on Coin Market Cap, they have um, their Alexandria articles, and this is in their tech deep dives. Uh, goodbye long addresses. How Fio Protocol is making wallet handles readable for humans. And there's this good, um, this good at length article uh, that you guys can read. Need to get a. a in the uh, description of this video too. Um, any comments that you wanted to add to that, Luke? No, I'm just really excited again to get that full article. I think, uh, sorry, my internet cut out a little bit, but uh, I think we got the gist of what you're saying. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a really in-depth article that breaks down exactly uh, the details of FIO. So combined with the videos and that article, it's just a great resource if you want to, as we were talking about earlier, share with people that you're connected to in the industry to say, hey, FIO protocol, you should check it out. Watch these four videos, read this uh, deep dive link on what it's all about. And from there, you know, you can be part of that voice to help more and more people get the FIO protocol integrated into their products and services. And once that happens, we're going to have basically more value in the whole FIO ecosystem because every 
you know, the, basically the network effect of every person connected and every product and service that integrates FIO makes my FIO address more useful. I can send it and receive from it with more people. And that I think is really important is that, as, you know, that responsibility we all have to make crypto easier. And one of the ways to do that, again, is the FIO protocol. Just get more products and services using it. When people say, hey, you know, I, I'm going to collect some Bitcoin or ask for some Bitcoin or send some Bitcoin, always asking, hey, can I use a FIO address? Can I send you a FIO request? Can you send me a FIO request? And if they're like, wait, what's FIO? Well, now you're empowered with these videos. You're empowered with this link to be able to help educate them what that is. And of course, get, a, get them on a free FIO address as well. And, uh, you know, we're working hard on, on our FIO dashboard, the FIO DAP that we've talked about on previous calls, which is going to be a web experience for being able to sign people up even quicker. So we'll definitely keep you up to date on that. Definitely making great progress. Uh, we've got kind of a prototype that's built out already. So things are moving forward there. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, again, just helping make cryptocurrency easier for everybody. And part of that is going to be even improving just the FIO experience in each individual application that has integrated it. And then as well as a better onboarding experience as well with the dashboard. So we got a lot going on, a lot of exciting stuff. I'm going to let you go, Katie, because you've got a conference to go to. Is that uh, it or do you have anything else you want to cover? Well, I, I want to cover quickly on two other things. I want to cover on our one year anniversary um, video competition that is still active for another nine days from today. It ends at the end of April. Uh, that will close out. So if you haven't uh, submitted a video, everyone who submits a video as long as it is up to the terms and conditions uh, you will be guaranteed to get 100 FIO tokens um, the top 10 videos uh, will re receive a sweeter pot the total of the top 10 will get uh, the equivalent of ten thousand uh, dollars in FIO tokens so that's super exciting first place is five thousand dollars so i'm sure that that would make a lot of people Happy to win that. And the last thing I wanted to point out actually, and is that, I don't know who's watching this, who knows me personally, then um, take it for what it is. I use FIO protocol. Uh, we use it at the foundation uh, every month for paying the active workers. I love using it. Uh, I know the team at Liquid, same thing. Their whole team is now using it for paying um, you know, their, their uh, compensation for things. And it makes things, I can't stress this enough, it makes things so much more dramatically easier. And I thought this was cool. Today, this morning, um, I saw CoinMarketCap tweeted out, um, helping to promote, uh, you know, our, our Learn and Earn campaign and, and the Alexandria article. But you know, without encouragement from us, this is just them learning from what they're reading and the information that they're sharing and we're sharing with them is that, you know, could help reduce the risk of tokens being sent to the wrong address. And this is huge, 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 huge. Um, and, and this is the problem that one of several big problems that FIO solves is, um, you know, there's nothing worse than that feeling of like that, <gasps> oh my gosh, did, did, did my crypto go to the right place? Or you don't want to send a test send because the the, the fees are so high right now, right? And, and you send a test send for, you know, sending a hundred bucks or something and the fees are a hundred, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, um, and this makes a big difference, especially if we're talking about being inclusive around the world and not just myopic in like the United States where, you know, we're based out of, but, those fees are, are not reasonable for most of the world, right? And so when they want to send value uh, using cryptocurrency, borderless, sensorless, um, then they need to have some degree of confidence and certainty. And FIO really helps give them that peace of mind when they're sending that out. Couldn't have said it better myself. I love it. That's why what we're doing matters. Appreciate you, Katie. Thank you so much. And if you are at the conference again, uh, you want to highlight the conference one more time, where are you at? So we are at, if you're local to South Florida in the area, the conference, I think they're actually sold out of tickets. So you might want to check the website. Um, I'll link that below too. Um, but it's Miami Crypto Experience. Um, last night, there was like this private little Rick Ross 420 event and they did an, oh, first one of one Porsche 911 NFT auctions. Um, right now it's almost at a million dollars 
the auction. They had like some artists like pour wow. paint the champagne bottles all over the the car and and whoever gets the NFT gets the the car also and that was a that was a fun experience but crypto's back and in Miami style here so if you're around the conference goes until Friday I think but there's a lot of crypto people hanging out from around so if you're itching for some in real life face to face come say hi we'll be awesome out. Awesome. Well, hope you have a great time. And I'm looking forward to hearing cool stories about people learning about FIO at the conference and what they think about it as it relates to NFTs as well. We've got some cool NFT stuff coming. Uh, very, very cool. Thank you again, Katie. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.